Yeah, so I'm Scott Hebert, CEO of Green Aerotech, based out of Canada. We're a drone uh, software and service provider. Uh, we, um, so we provide services to the agriculture, uh, industrial and oil and gas industries. And we also provide software services to other drone professionals. You know, we come from an agriculture background. So, the, you know, we were always at the forefront of, uh, of agriculture technology. Our farm was one of the first running auto steer in Canada. So we decided let's, let's uh, look into this, see if there's any, you know, any substance behind, uh, behind the hype. And yeah, so things got started from there. So it started from a user standpoint and we quickly saw uh, an opportunity there. And uh, we're, we were always looking for new investment opportunities at that time. That's how we got into the UAV world. So right now we're, we're using the Sensefly EV. Uh, most of our work is done with the RTKs. Uh, we joke we wouldn't even buy a UAV if it didn't have RTK anymore. Uh, we, we use some you know, other generic uh, brands as well for, for some of the media work. But most of ours in serving using the Sensefly EV RTK. It was the only one that worked consistently and reliably. Uh, we tested a lot of other types of systems. We bought them. Uh, weren't just demos, we actually owned them. And we found the Sensefly worked. Uh, it was the most reliable. And it was, you know, it gave us good, good data all the time. And we could send guys into the field with them, uh, knowing they would come back with data. So for us, uh, we're using it mostly in, in, in the ag space, uh, you know, for drainage. So that, that comes as a surprise to a lot of people because all the hype and all the, all the talk in the industry is about, uh, about crop health. So for us, we found that we, our need was in water management. Uh, translates over to uh, municipalities, other you know, districts, counties, depending on what, what people call them, uh, to help them manage their water more efficiently. Uh, same thing with uh, we were in oil and gas industry, we're using them to help manage water. So manage water on new roads, on new pipelines, uh, new construction. So basically uh, the drone or the UAV it collects data. It, it's more accurate data than any other type of data a farmer can get, whether he's driving it uh, with his tractor or a truck or a quad, uh, an ATV. So the farmer gets to use this data to help him uh, you know, more efficiently drain his land. Uh, you know, with the EBRTK, we're able to create an ortho mosaic, uh, a very uh, highly accurately georeferenced ortho mosaic uh, to create a water drainage plan. So the farmer can then use that data to drain his water more efficiently and see problem areas and contour his field, uh, as well as allow him to optimally install drain tile. So Green Arrow Tech, uh, it was conceived in 2012. We conceived in 2012, we incorporated it in 2014, and then, uh, and then we realized we had a data problem and uh, a processing issue. And that was when we acquired Ice Guy 2015, which solved that problem. Uh, from there, we, had, we scaled. We, we had, you know, the challenge was scale and uh, you know, basically reaching our, you know, delivering our data to our client efficiently. And from there, uh, you know, that was where we developed the portal, which, um, you know, became so much more than we ever expected it to be. It turned into its own uh, product, you could say, uh, which basically made, you know, went from making our lives easier to uh, being an actual marketable product that can help other drone users. It started off uh, just as, as a way for a client to view their data, download their data and uh, became something where they could manipulate their data and you know, start to create, a, for example, a drainage plan, create their own VR maps, uh, upload their yield maps so, uh, you know, so they could actually see some correlation. So it's become quite a, quite a strong tool. And then from there, uh, it's become an integration tool where we've developed API that can now communicate with other devices. So we're, no, you know, we're not tied to one color of tractor or one type of data or even one industry. Uh, if somebody from oil and gas wants to input this data into a CAT machine uh, or CAT equipment, they can. Uh, if somebody wants to download it into a New Holland monitor, a John Deere monitor, all of that is uh, automatic. <laughs> My advice to any ag professional looking uh, for a drone, to buy a drone or to operate a drone is listen to your customer first. Don't go and buy the tech. Talk to your customer, find out the problems in your target market because they could change over a county or a municipal line. Uh, make sure that you understand what they need, what their actual problems are, and make sure you know their needs. And then uh, follow through on your promises.